Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your Nexus 6P on the beta Android N program pretty much from the NPD 35K to the latest one that was released today, uh, Preview 4, which is the NPD 56N whilst keeping root. Now the only way to root this thing is if you have a decrypted data partition or if you've used a CF auto root provided by Chainfire. So today we're going to be using another thing of Chainfire which is Flashfire to update our Nexus 6P here right on our device to the latest factory image. So of course you're going to need to download the factory image if you've rooted before as I think it does modify the system and all you need to do is copy that factory image there onto your device. So I have it should be in my downloads folder if I double check real quick. Um, oh no, it's in a different folder. Now as you can see, it's at the top there, we have the MPD56N, I'll just turn on the brightness a little bit. And so what we're going to do is use Flashfire. So I will have another tutorial if you're, oh well, yeah I'll probably have another tutorial on this. So we can open up Flashfire and we can grant it root access. Now there's uh, just a disclaimer that everything is in our hands now. No thanks. We're going to press the plus button. We're going to flash a firmware, I think it's a firmware package. We shall see. And just go to where you have copied it or saved it. In this case I use the, I think it was the, it's either advanced or Android download manager. I keep getting confused between the two. So this will scan the archive for all the files and images inside. And we should actually be able to flash this. Hopefully they they haven't uploaded uh not uploaded updated the uh what am I gonna say updated the bootloader or radio as uh or you can choose to flash these protected partitions uh, partitions but it's better if you leave it so and do it manually so it's almost done here having a look at the contents of the archive so you can see we have boot recovery system vendor and cache and a couple others. So we'll leave all this. Make sure data down here is unchecked. We don't want it to wipe our data. We can press tick. We can see that it will, it could wipe the cache. It will inject SuperSU again. So we just need to hit this little flash icon and hit OK. Now this will reboot our phone into a, a mode where Flashfire will do all its thing. Quite similar to previous methods or using Flashfire on previous version of, versions of Android. It's gonna load everything. And we are starting. So we're going to flash the system right off the bat here first. And this is going to be the majority of the flashing process. I think it's about oh, just over a gigabyte. Or actually more than a gigabyte of um, in size. Maybe about two, two point something. See here we're at a gigabyte and it's about halfway through. Oh yeah, it does say 2.27, so 2.2 gigs. Almost done. And then it's going to flash the vendor image, the recovery and all that as well, the boot. Now it's also going to flash SuperSU as well.
and restarting. So after the reboot, we should be able to see our phone on the NPD56N with root and everything still intact, hopefully. So our device has booted back up successfully, didn't take too long, and everything looks pretty much the same. We can go over and have a look at SuperSU real quick. You can see it still works. We can take a look at FlashFire and see if that opens up after requesting root access. And it has. There we are. And finally, we shall have a look at... Well, you can see here how it says, it says the Android beta program, Android N, NPD 56N, and finally we can actually have a look at the new Easter egg that came out with this release of Android. Namey McNameface. Oh, I'm typing the wrong thing, aren't I? Uh, no, Android version. And... Namey McNameface. So that's it for this video guys, if it helped you out feel free to leave a like down below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, and I will be getting around doing that Viper for Android video very soon, as soon as I get back down to Marshmallow, or, and finish up a couple other videos on this, um, and so be sure to check out, uh, watch out for that. So anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.